Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back. So today we're doing a fun video. Today I bought a palette from Indie Brand that I wanted to review for you guys. So this is called the Exorcism and Chill Eyeshadow Palette from Bad and Bruja. I think that's how you pronounce that word. <laughs> but I bought their palette as long as a pair of their lashes. We're gonna try it out today and give you my first thoughts on it. Now, as you know, I do have a brand called the Open Crypt where. My beautiful earrings are from, and I also have a Netflix and Kill blanket, which is very popular and in stock right now, and a Netflix and Kill sticker, which is brand new. So I thought, along with the Netflix and Kill stuff that I have, let's try out the ne the Exorcism and Chill. So this is the front of the palette. It's very cute. And then here is the inside of it. The color scheme is exactly what you would expect. It's going with a little bit of a... A really bright color of glitter right there but today I just wanted to test this out see if it was any good give a shout out to an indie brand which is spooky because you know I'm here for the spooky stuff and let's go ahead and get started all right guys I did want to insert some swatches here of the palette swatched out obviously the glitter is not gonna be like <laughs> the most epic swatch in the world the shimmers are nice some of the mattes are on the drier end but it's really a test of how they perform on the eyes that matters so this palette retailed for $15, really good prices, it's constantly sold out, so I waited until the store opened again, and I got this. It was $15. Also, I got a pair of lashes off their clearance aisle, which are called the Morbid Mommies, and they look like this. I'll take them out, actually, so you can see them better, but they look like this. There was actually an Instagram, like, story post from them saying these do make cute bottom lashes. They're a little full for bottom lashes, a little bit light for top lashes for me, but we're going to try it anyways. If I hate the lashes on my top, I will just... Put different ones on, not a big deal, especially for $3. So let's go and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base and we'll get started. All right, so I totally needed that primer down because my eyelids were looking like crap. They were kind of pink stained, a little bit creasy from the foundation. So glad we have a good base now. Let's go ahead and get started. So I wanna do green. Like I kind of was reaching towards like this color and this color with a little bit of yellow earlier, but I wanna do the green now. So we're gonna start off with pea soup. Also the names are just hilarious. So we have pissed, fuck me, fuck me. Puke, flesh, headspin, less levitate, pea soup, possess, exorcism, be gone, father, and your bed or mine. Very cute. I love the theming of the names. But we're going to go into pea soup right now, which is this color right here. It's more of the ivy type of green. Tap off the excess. Oh, whoa, she pigmented. And I'm going to put this all over the crease, doing kind of a halo eye. <laughs> Let me zoom you in. This looks weird. So I will say in the pan it looks more of a cool tone kind of green. On the eye it's much brighter, kind of like a, a dark Kelly green or like forest kind of green color. It just looks more like an olivey, ivy tone in the pan. So it doesn't come off exactly the same, but it's extremely pigmented so far. So because we don't have any like really light mattes in here to help blend this, I took the brush, I wiped all the product off. And with no product on the brush, I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit. I did have a little bit of trouble like blending this one out, but not bad, so I'm just going to go with no extra product for that reason, just to help a little bit. Which if you put primer down, it is going to stick a little better, which you're supposed to want that. Just gets a little tricky sometimes with what you want to stick and what you want to blend, you know? Because I don't want all my dark colors to like pfft, away on my lid, I don't want them to stay put either. It's so a good in between, you gotta find that mix too. So I'm gonna start adding up to the screen now, just because it's a little basic right now. I'm gonna go into Possessed. We're gonna see if this one comes off like this olivey tone or not. Tap off the excess. I'm gonna add this on top. So I'm gonna do one eye, and I'll show you the difference to see if we can tell the difference with adding. Oh, I guess you can right now. This is with the second color, this is without it. This one's a little bit darker. I was like, I'm just going to do an after, before and after, like, show you one eye. This is what it looks like with it. This is what it looks like without it. It's clearly, <laughs> it's clearly very different. Just in tone. I actually like this tone more, I think. Just because it is more, or it's not as like a, a staple green. I don't like the staple greens as much, so this one I prefer. Other one's not bad, though. Also, the name Pea Soup was just freaking hilarious. All right, so I want to try a little bit of the Black the Me shade. This one right here, I'm just gonna make a little bit of it because the other ones were so pigmented, I'm gonna be very careful. I just wanna add a little bit right here and right here. I just want the very corners just to be a little bit darker. And it should, you know, be enough. Just want a little grungier than just a, a blurred out green. So here's with the black, here's without. The baby bit of color. I'm going to take my finger into the puke shade right here, which is this kind of pretty green. 
And I'm gonna do everything on the lid and a little bit into the crease, except for the very center. For the very center, I'm gonna take the pst, yellow and just tap it in the middle there. I actually use the same thing I did with the green. I don't want it to be like a weird contrast in the middle. So we kind of have both going on, but you can kind of see kind of highlights there in the center. And this shit, this actual look is coming out terribly. Like the palette's performing fine. I just, I don't know. I feel like I get, I got a little muddy with it. Which I kept adding things on top of adding things. So I guess that's my own fault. But I'm going to keep the video up. Because you know what? That's reality. Not every look is going to be like supreme. For the lower lash line, I'm actually going to go into Be Gone. Which is kind of a matte gray. I'm a little bit nervous. Because again, we got a little muddy here. But I just really like the gray tone. And it's a pretty matte. So I'm going to go very lightly with a fatter shader brush. And that should be good. So nothing crazy under lower lash line today. For my waterline, I'm actually gonna try out this Dose of Colors liner. So this is Maybe Baby, which is a ivy green color, it's very dark, but I haven't used it yet and I got it in a BoxyCharm a couple months ago. So I figured, go ahead and give it out and give it a try while I already don't love the look for today's video, honestly. I just like my skin so dry. It's like the second look of the day. And it's just not cooperating. Like the palette's performing fine. It's a palette review. Not a review of my skill level people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So this is what the lash looks like. It's just a little sparse for me today. I think I want something larger. So I'm not going to wear these. But they do look pretty. And at least I got the chance to look at them. And I'll use them in a future look. With I want something more like fluffy, flary, lighter. So I'm going to pop on some lashes, mascara, lipstick. I'll be right back and I'll show you the finished look. Very short video today, I know. Alright guys, this is the finished look using the Exorcism and Chill eyeshadow palette from Bad and Bruja. Honestly, I like it so much better now that I put lashes on. Without lashes, I'm just like, mm, it just looks kind of muddy, but with big lashes on, I just feel like it's very kind of sultry and green. So here is the look up close that all blended together very nicely in the end. And I actually like how I did. I put like a little bit of liquid shadow right here to make it a little green to blend into that gray color we put down and it looks very nice. So overall, like I'm here for it. Like it looks nice. I do kind of wish that we had more yellow just because, you know, puke and yellow is kind of coinciding and stuff, but there's a pretty yellow in here and I'm very happy with it. I'm not sure I understand why there's a lavender in the shade unless it's for like the kind of outfit deal but other than that though it's really cool and definitely like different and fits the spooky vibe and the spooky aesthetic that we have on this channel so i know today's a short video it's actually a bonus video of uploading six times instead of five times this week just to make some extra you know videos and stuff but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i will leave them linked down below i'll leave their instagram link down below and i will see you guys in the next video have a great and safety out there wherever you are bye